All right, so we're coming to the end of the year and we're learning about similarity and transformation. So the central question, how are similar figures different than congruent figures? So congruent, you've already learned about, same sign, same shape, and similar is what you're going to learn about today. All right, so similarity, two figures are similar if the second can be obtained from the first with a sequence of transformations and dilations. Okay, that's what similarity means. For instance, if I end up rotating it or translating it and then changing its size by dilation, that would be considered these, the shape that first started, even if I rotated it, even if I translated it to the right and then up, and then I made it grow in size for dilation. These two here, the original one and the last one here, would be considered similar shapes. Okay, why are they similar? Because it was a, it was, I could, I can make this one from this one by just doing a couple of um, transformations um, that we've learned about. In this case, I rotated it, then I translated it, then I dilated it. So it's going to be a different size and kind of um, in a different area. You can remember this by uh, last week we talked about dilation. So notice this first triangle. It got translated to the right and it also grew in size and that's a dilation. So those are considered um, similar shapes. Here are some others that would be considered similar, okay, so getting a growth, and we'll later be able to find out whether these are similar or not, just a minute. And I'll ask you a few more examples, the difference between congruent figures and then similar figures, okay, similar versus congruent. So how do we determine if two shapes are actually similar? Uh, the answer to that would be, A, the ratios of the corresponding sides must be equal. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. Let's compare these two triangles I have here, okay? So this triangle here has a side of eight and a side of six in the two legs. Uh, I could find the hypotenuse, but I don't need to. All I wanna do is I wanna compare it to the sides. So this one's four by three. I wanna know if these are similar. So in order for things to be similar, their ratios have to be the same. And let me show you how we do that. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna compare the longest side along with this longest side. So I'm gonna say, hey, look, the, uh, the side from here to here, well, let's go ahead and call these letters here. So we'll call this E, D, and F versus over here, we're going to call these uh, G, H, and I. Okay, so I'm going to compare E to D, okay, which is 8 in this case, and I'm going to compare that to H to G, okay? So the, the longest leg here compared to this longest leg is those two numbers, okay? So which equates to 2 over 1. All right, so this is double as, as big as that one. Okay, so the next one I want to compare is, I'm going to go from the large triangle. So large triangle, I'm going to go D to F. Oops, D to F. That's this side here. I'm going to compare that to this bottom side here. I don't know if you can see that. G to I. So what I did is I did D to F, G to I. And D to F is 6. G to I is 3. And if I reduce this, this also is... 2 over 1. So because these are the same, I know that these are similar triangles. They're similar triangles. All right, let's take a look at another example. So let's take this next example. Okay, so if I have this rectangle, I'm noticing it's got 2, 4, 6. It's got 7 on this side, and it's got 4 on this side. And we're just going to call this A, B, C, D rectangle. Um, and then I will say that, I don't know, we're going to call this uh, e, F, G, H. Okay, so on this side of the, tri uh, the rectangle, it's got uh, three going this way, and it's got five going uh, this other way. All right, so what I want to do is I want to compare. I want to see if this is going to be uh, similar or not. So I'm going to start with the longest side. I'll start with this larger tri uh, rectangle. That's A to D. I want to compare that to the longest side on this one. Now notice, it almost looks like it got rotated, so I'm going to compare that to, let's say, G to F here, okay? So I want to see 7 over 5, okay? So if I do 7 over 5, you know, I can go ahead and figure that out with the calculator if I want. I can say that that's 1 and 2 fifths, or as a decimal, that would be 1.4, okay? So there's that comparison. Now I'm going to come back to my shapes here, and I say, look, on the green one, I'm going to talk about the short side this time. So I'm going to go from D to C, and that would be compared to H to G, which is the short side on the other one. This one was uh, 4, and this one was 3. 
which equals 1 and 1 third, which is approximately, this one's actually equals, but this is approximately 1.3 repeating. So do you see these zones here? They're not the same. Not the same. So because they're not the same, they are not similar. Oops, similar. Ooh, that was kind of crazy. Anyway, so yeah, you're just comparing. You're comparing the sides. And if the ratios stay the same, then they're similar. If not, you know they're not similar.